Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. Today I'm gonna to be going over my side hustle and passive income report for Q2 of 2021. Um, so we're just gonna get straight into it. Uh, today is uh, the day that I will be giving away a percentage of my AdSense income as a thank you to you guys who have been supportive through this whole journey since I started this channel. Just a way of showing my appreciation and giving back. It was an interesting three months. Let's just start with um, um, I'll start with the first one that you probably are most interested about and that would be my YouTube and blog income. If you don't know, I have two channels that I actively post on. Well, I say actively. I haven't posted on my blog channel this year um, because I've just been switching things up and yeah that's that's in the progress however it has been doing relatively well because one of my older videos has picked back up again and it's been doing really well so that's great and i have this channel which has been recently monetized this is the first quarter of monetization um so at the end of this video i will talk about like i'll go into a bit more detail of how the youtube income is split and how much i made on both channels um, just so you know. So for YouTube and basically all my AdSense income, I made £265.82. And in Q1, I actually made only £97.23. So I've almost tripled my YouTube um, income. And you would think that most of it was due to uh, my new, this channel being monetized, but it was actually not the case. Um, it's, it, it was equally this channel being monetized and um, another video picking up on my older channel. So that was really interesting. I'm really proud of that. I'm really happy with that. Um, considering the change, I think the growth is so is really substantial and something that I should be proud of. Like celebrate your wins because I'm one who doesn't always take time to smell the roses and like enjoy when good things are happening. <laughs> So I'm trying to do more of that. So that's YouTube and blogging income. So, oh, and I didn't mention, this is my side hustle income. I'm starting with side hustle and then I'll do passive income and then I'll split the YouTube, I'll break that down a bit further. Next up is medium income. My medium income is like, it's always been quite low. And I think in the future when I actually wanna dedicate more time to it, it will probably grow. Um, I made one pounds 91 cents, 91 cents. Wait, what? No, no, one pound 91 pence, sorry, I realized. Cause my income is usually in, in um, American dollars, but um, I forgot that I've converted it to pounds. So yeah, I made one pound 91, um, which isn't bad. It was like mostly off of this one story that was doing really well that I written. Um, it was one of my very few uh, non-fiction-y, not poetry pieces. User testing, I made 13 pounds and 72 pence with user testing. That is, I think, maybe almost double what I made last time because I think I did two tests. Um, I haven't been doing user testing as much just because most of the things don't apply to me, so they won't choose me. So I haven't invested as much time there just because I get so much more no's than yeses, um, as is the case with a lot of these, because they're looking for very specific people in specific industries to take the tests. So a lot of the like more entrepreneurial and like self-employed stuff I will get, but the rest I won't. So I haven't really put a lot of time into that um, right now, and I have been like back at work, so don't really have as much time to just be on user testing. Take part in research, I made 40 pounds. That was one um, research gig I did and yeah, it was really cool. Um, it was actually really interesting. So I, I really like it when it's a product that I guess they choose people who would potentially use the product. So yeah, I did one test and Google Opinion Rewards is a new one that actually someone recommended to me in a video and it was Google Opinion Rewards and it's literally like, they send you like a little survey. Google sends you a little survey um maybe when you've gone somewhere it's very if you're like big data scared i wouldn't <laughs> get it <laughs> because it can freak you out for the first few but then sometimes i'm like when i'm going places i'm very excited because i know i'm gonna get surveyed the next day and they'll be like have you visited this place recently did you make a payment stuff like that um so and then you get paid like a few pence like 25 pence um 12 pence 30 pence a pound usually not a pound, but um, yeah, so it's actually really cool. I made £3.37 in Google Play pounds, I guess in Google Play money, and because I don't really buy apps, um, I just, I don't know, I recently started playing Pokemon Go so I could actually use it. 
Because <laughs> I haven't played Pokemon Go in ages, so I was like, let me upgrade my bag so I use some of my my opinion rewards. And I made three pounds and thirty-seven pence. I don't know if I said that, but I think that's pretty good for like literally four questions or three questions. That is multiple choice. The easiest money I ever made. <laughs> And finally, in my side hustle um, income was Coinbase. So £8.48 on Coinbase from doing these reward um, quizzes where I get like free crypto. So I did a bunch of those over the last few months and I got £8.48 from doing that, which is really cool. I really enjoy those because I do get to learn a bit more about some new cryptos and and just having it, I don't sell them, I just keep them because you just never know. You never know when one might just decide to take off. So I was just like, I'll just keep it. It's only like a few bucks or like seven bucks. Like, what's the worst that could happen? So if they go down, it was free. And if they go up, then wow, lucky me. <laughs> and my total for side hustle income was 333 pounds and 30 pence. The free, free, free is so creepy. But yeah. <laughs> So that was great. I'm so happy with that, honestly. It was really great. I think it was a great month for side hustling or great quarter for side hustling. And considering my goal, I think, is to reach 600 a month, I think, in side hustling. Is it? Is it? Question mark. I think 200 side hustle income, 300 passive income. So just over halfway to my goal of what I would need in early retirement if I choose to take that. Cool. Moving on to my passive income. Passive income. Let's speed through this. Training 212. Nothing because free shares are obsolete. <laughs> Who knows if they'll ever open up accounts again. I haven't checked in the last like two weeks. So if it has opened up, I haven't received any free shares. Um, free trade. Free shares. I made £37.78. I'm looking at my laptop. If my eyes keep darting this way, that's why. £37.78. Those were all free shares and that wasn't bad it was pretty good I'd say um, I don't know if that was as good as Q1 probably not no Q1 I made 84 I made a lot more um, but I haven't really been making videos about free trade and I haven't really been actively um, including links I only include it in some videos because I do think it does have like adverse effects on the ad algorithm I don't know why I just have a feeling so I try not to always put them unless I make a video about investing but it's just there in case anyone wants to invest Vanguard dividends uh, this is my first quarter of real dividend income I guess and I got £3.25 from my Vanguard dividends and my total dividends I got £7.49 so that would include free trade and trading to one two dividends that I got from other companies so not bad you know seven pounds 49 pence for not the hugest portfolio but i just started recently doing um having a bit more of a focus on dividend investing as part of my global long-term strategy for growth and income with investing so yeah i'm happy with that that was fun quidco i made three pounds 78 pence really haven't been buying as much lately uh, i haven't bought much so Quidco's a cashback site. I'll leave a link down to like any of these in case you're interested in using them to make extra cash. But Quidco I've used for years. I made a whole video on all the apps I use. And yeah, they give cash back. Airtime rewards, great one. Look at this. £22.50. I actually cashed out. It's basically cash back, but money off of your mobile. But if you have over £20, you can cash it out into your debit card, like back onto your card, so you can have the money out. The £10 threshold is if it's to offset your phone bill cost. And the £20, if you get up to £20, and then you can take it out as just cash. So I can't take it out as a phone bill because I can't take it off of my phone bill because I've got Virgin now. But I could take it out as cash. And I hit £20 and boom, I took it out. And I was actually really happy with that. I really like Airtime Rewards because it's really easy and I don't have to do anything. My cards are just there and it just tracks the purchases. It's fuss free. I like fuss free. I like things I don't have to think about. The only thing is they don't accept Amex, so that's the only frustrating thing I have to think when I'm going to a shop. If I get airtime rewards, I can't use my Amex because I won't get points. Um, so yeah, I won't get points. I won't get. I won't get cash back. So sometimes it can be frustrating. That's the literally the only frustrating thing about it, and that it doesn't track my in-store purchases on my joint debit card when I go to Wilco. Don't know why. 
Don't know why. <laughs> it just doesn't. Next thing is bank interest, and I made £13.93 from bank interest, which is actually very good considering that's almost £5 a month. That's actually decent from bank interest, and I don't have that many savings accounts. I am happy with that. That is fully passive income right there. Just nothing. Doing nothing and getting money. <laughs> That's what I want. And Coinbase, this is from a referral. So I got £7.28 from referring someone. Um, that's why it's in the passive income side because it's literally like a free share, but you get free crypto. So you get £7.28 £28 of um, Bitcoin. Halifax Cashback, I made £14.06, which is actually really good. I think most of that was from like HelloFresh. There was some big like cashback ones. I think one was a £10 cashback from HelloFresh. So passive income, I made £106.82 from Q2 in 2021. Not that great. Uh, Q1, what I do, 178.86, a lot more. Um, but yeah, I haven't, I need to build more passive income like sources. Also haven't been spending as much. I do get a lot of cash back. Um, yeah, so I do need to build more sources that are a bit more stable and steady with income. And I think dividends will be a big part of that later on as I go down. So on to, I'll just go on to YouTube and tell you how much I made in both sections because I have them divided in my actual um, monthly breakdowns of my passive income reports. Um, so from this channel, I made £162.69 and from my Abbey Abroad and my blog, um, which I don't make much for my blog, a couple of pounds, I made £103.13. So you can see the difference. My, my um, other channel, Abbey Abroad, gets way more views, essentially. Usually it will get more views than this channel does, but this channel has a way higher CPM. So I do make a bit more money with this channel than I do with my fully established channel. So that's really interesting. It's really been like every month, my CPM has been going up and up and up. And at this point, I guess I can show you. So let's have a look at May. May, I my CPM was eight pounds and 39 pence. Um, I mean, my CPM was sixteen pounds and twenty-seven pence. My RPM was eight pounds thirty-nine. Uh, in June, you can see how much that went up by, like twenty percent, ten pounds. My RPM is ten pounds ten pence, and my CPM is eighteen pounds and sixty-two pence, which is crazy. So it has been going up like every month. I find that my CPM is increasing. I don't know. When I started, I didn't think it would be like that. <laughs> I don't know what I expected to be honest. But yeah, um, my I guess highest one of my highest CPM videos is my medium video. So that one's always earning quite a bit. It's like my top earner pretty much every month. Um, and that's really cool. But back to this, that's how much I made on each. I, did I announce the winner? No, I didn't announce the winner. I wish I'd done that in the beginning, but here we are. So the winner of this quarter's AdSense earning giveaway, I guess, AdSense, AdSense earnings giveaway is Chica W. And um, the amount is 20 because I'm doing all my AdSense income, by the way, not just dividing it. Um, I'm gonna do the whole of it. So I made 265 pounds and 82 pence. So I'm just gonna round that up to 27 pounds. Um, so yeah, 27 pounds goes to you. Uh, I will get in contact with you or get in contact with me. Um, and I know, I know, I think I know how to find you. So I will find you, send you a message and you send me your details. I will send you that over. Thank you so much for supporting this channel. Thank you for your comments. And I, I've always appreciated like how thoughtful your comments are. And I always see you pop up all the time. Plus I actually checked, you were the person who commented the most over the, since basically I started. So I appreciate you. Thank you. And I appreciate all of you guys as well, obviously, but let's get to the total. So my total of passive and side hustle income for Q2 2021 is 440 pounds and 12 pence, which is pretty awesome. I am, I'm very happy with that. It's more than I got in Q1. So any growth is definitely welcome. I did 374 in Q1, so 440. I think that's that's pretty decent. Um, hopefully I'm gonna 
like really grow this i've been just thinking about new things that i want to try and adding some other income sources so you'll see that in my q3 report until then thank you guys so much for supporting this channel give this video a thumbs up because it does help the youtube algorithm and leave a comment down below if there's any other types of videos you would like to see i will be giving away 10 percent of my adsense again um next next quarter so thank you guys for sticking around i will see you guys very soon until then bye guys yeah.